We all have watched The War of the Roses. We've all known divorces that are ugly, and you just cringe when you hear about the he said, she said stories, and the fighting, and it just makes you sick. It gives marriage a really bad name. But there is a solution. And she is the author, co-author of Taking Divorce, Taking the High Roads. And um, Peggy D. Cooper is with us. And she, along with her her husband, Randy Cooper, are the co-founders and co-authors. And they are something called Certified Divorce Coaches. And so, Pe- Peggy D., welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, thank you so much. It is so nice to be here with you. So, is it really, is it coming to that point where we really do need a divorce coach? You know, I got to tell you, getting divorced is not easy these days. You know, you, you're, you're, somebody gets served papers, right? And now they've got to deal with the stress, the emotional roller coaster that they're on. You have to be an expert at managing conflict, being an effective communicator, an excellent decision maker, I mean, because you're making decisions for the rest of your life. Right. And and change and transition, and then be the best parent that you could be. I think you'd need a thinking partner in this. I, I that's think you're right. Coach is. So we're not talking about a lawyer, because that, that's a so totally separate. Totally separate. Okay. Yep. So give us, give us some examples role, of what uh, the role of a divorce coach is. Well, I think the best way to describe the role of the divorce coach, so your client is here in the center, right? Your client is in the middle, is the hub, right, of the divorce. And and if you could imagine going out from each, from that client is a spoke, and at the end of one spoke is an attorney, important, important resource advisor. Another advisor might be a financial advisor, another spoke in this wheel. And then you've got a, perhaps a therapist or a parenting professional, uh, maybe a real estate professional. All these people are, are the advisors for your client, for this client. And standing right next to the client in the middle of this hub is the divorce coach. The divorce coach is their thinking partner and can help them get ready for those meetings, get their thoughts organized, get their finances organized. You know, just get all the information together that they need to have so that they can really come to the table as a really credible client. And it sounds to me like this might even be a savings because if you can figure out what you need with someone impartial and get that together before you go in with even your attorney, it mm-hmm. would. I think it would probably make things a lot easier, smoother, and I, I could see how it would work. When you walk into the, your attorney's office as a client and you've got all of your facts lined up and you might have them organized in a notebook and you hand it to your attorney, your attorney is now ready to get down to the business of the lawyering that they have to do, of right, advising you. Right. But, I but think if you that come we, in with your emotional story... I was Absolutely. I was going to say, when you go in and you haven't even thought about it, first of all, you're paying an outrageous amount of money per hour. And secondly, you're scattered. You really need to have someone. And the lawyer doesn't have time nor the expertise to do what what really needs to be done here. And that's the objective. Because the, the lawyer is going to be looking for your best interest, but a coach is looking for both your best interests. Right, and and the attorney also, often they're very hesitant to interrupt the story, right? So a, a client comes in with this emotional story, and they think, oh, i got to listen to this whole thing, and it goes on and on and on and on. And, you know, there's this, you know, at the end of the day, if they've spent a lot of time listening to the client's story, and they now present the client with a bill, the client says, what did I get? I didn't get anything, Right. So they they don't even want to pay the bill. And so, you know, it's so helpful to the attorney if you can help a person think through what are the questions that they really want to ask. 
what do they need to have so they can go on and take the next step that they need to take?